Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. I finally kind of came to a decision on what I'm going to do with this thing. Just to remind you all, this was a Craigslist deal. It was a um, $50 John Way 110cc China Quad. Um, it doesn't run, obviously. Well, <laughs> let me tell you if it doesn't run. Um, and so far on this thing, I went through the trouble of just putting, you know, taking this little end uh, cap off and I put my wrench on there and I made sure the engine was able to turn around. I made sure it was not seized and I made, um, I think I did a compression check on this also. So that that's, that's as far as I got. Then I'm kind of like got busy on other things and I'm I've been kind of tripping over this so now I decided what I'm going to do with it especially considering a bunch of the questions I've been getting um, this I guess we'll call it the intro video um, this thing came to me as you see minus the seat the seat actually belongs on that one and these two are basically the same the brakes are a little different like this doesn't have any front brakes and this thing does so I don't know this thing um, has the key fob for turning it off um, this one this one might have had that too so any anyway um, they're both um, 110 cc automatics so um, you know they're they're bottom of the line type type quads I, by bottom of, of the line I mean the pipe is thin and you can see how how things might not take take well to uh, to some hard riding right um, the frames would have a tendency to break um, this is a good template to start with because it's a complete quad nobody's done anything to it already um it's not missing anything you, you know nothing nothing crazy has happened to it um on some of these you get them and and they're really not not only are they physically um in rough shape but mechanically they're in pretty rough shape uh, this type of stuff you see here I mean I'm not exactly what sure I'm not sure exactly what transpired but um, while we're going through it I'm gonna show you guys how to put together a wire harness such that when you turn on the key right click power comes up to here you're able to turn your lights on and off you're able to use your starter button to start it to turn it off you'll go back to the key I'm not gonna bother hooking up the wires up there to turn it off so um, we're gonna get rid of a lot of this extra troublesome stuff and create a really nice basic wire harness for it what's also good about this particular machine is that the brakes actually work um, right and then back to rolling and even the front brakes work so that's good um, I don't think if, if an adult did ride it um, I don't think they they rode it too much I think actually kids enjoyed this thing and the reason why is normally when adults ride these this there's a long neck for the steering and a lot of times they're bent one way or the other they're either bent backwards because an adult pulls on the handlebars uh, to do wheelies or they're bent forward because kind of as they're bumping along they west put a lot of weight on it and, and push them forward so I don't I don't think this thing was ridden all that hard um, the front suspension is still 
with us the back shock appears to be seized and um, luckily I have a spare and it's sitting right there so we can change that out so um, basically what I'm gonna do with this thing is I'm gonna bring it back to life um, I'll go through the carburetor with you guys I'll go through the wire harness with you guys I'll show you guys the important wires on the wire harness um, I'll tell you guys exactly what I do to bring them back um, if anybody wants to get a little ahead they could get on eBay and order themselves one of these kits that's what you look for and I found somebody who's shipping these out of the, out of the United States um, there's actually a guy out of New Jersey and you could get them within a week so I finally I finally got my um, my um, wiring harnesses I have five of them now and they're gonna go pretty quickly one is gonna go here one is gonna go to Lonnie um, a puppet kicker and y you know there's a couple of other projects that are are waiting for them so I think I've I've already burned off three out of the five I just received um, this is it this is going to be a good project because there seems to be like a million of these things floating around perhaps more um, between what's sitting in the backyard or sitting on Craigslist waiting to go to somebody else's backyard so um, I think if I do that it'll, it'll get some of them running get some of you guys riding and all that um, and I'm gonna kinda do it as a series um, next time you see this thing like the handlebars will be off the plastic will be off and I don't know if I'm gonna start with the wiring of the carburetor hardly matters because once again there'll be separate videos if you want to know about the carburetor you can watch that video if you want to know about the wiring you can uh, watch that video while I'm doing this if there are some questions I'll try I'll try to answer um, those questions um, one of my subscribers, um, I'm trying to be honest, I'm trying to understand the questions. I got the idea that if he just kind of hit the starter with the jump pack and left the leads floating for the battery, he would have spark. But if he attached the battery or the jump pack properly, he didn't have spark. So um, I kind of answered his question for that, and he said, "No, that's not the question." And then he rephrased it, and I'm still I'm still working on getting an understanding of exactly what what he's after. I like to start with kind of what I know. I know these engines. I know they have a um, stator coil, and I know they have a pulse generator right um, and then when I look over here and if I add this to it I have absolutely everything it takes to have the engine spark and run and I even have the little off button that you can push to shut it down so um, that that's what I like to use on these because then it gets all the wiring out of there I don't have to worry is the um, CDI any good because I put a new one on is the spark coil any good I don't care because I put a new one on are there any shorts in the wire harness I don't care I put a new one on are the on and off switches working I don't care because the only way you turn it off now is a button right um, I, that that's that's the way I'm gonna I'm gonna set it up as a matter of fact the key switch will not even turn the motor on and off the only thing that will turn the motor on and off is the little the little push button on the handlebars um, you may say why not hook up the key switch such that it turns it on and off besides the button it's extra wiring and you don't need it push the button engine stops right let go of the button turn the key 
push the start button, engine starts, right? Um, so there, there we are. All right, um, we'll go through this together. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the videos. Let me know what you think. Um, and unless another interesting one of these comes up that for some reason I want to do something with it, um, this will probably be the last series on these China things. Um, there's only so much you could do with these, right? Um, believe it or not, on future projects, I'd actually like to get a blaster, one of those uh, two-cycle uh, four-wheelers, one with the six-speed. I'd actually like to get that. Um, I'd like to add that as a future project. And on these things, they have some um, 200, 250 cc versions of the China engine. I've never worked on those. I have an existing system, ignition system from one from Lonnie. But I, I'd actually, I am curious about that. Tao Tao makes them and a few others. They typically go pretty cheap also, uh, except instead of $50, they typically want um more like two or three hundred not running so i i kind of like to buy this china stuff super cheap all right everyone i want to thank you all for watching commenting subscribing remember feet down heads up and get out and enjoy each and every day let me know what you think of this video take care bye now